Hey guys, and welcome back to Cubing with Colin. In this video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Maylon Clover Cube. So as you may notice, I am in a completely different setup, and that's because I'm on vacation, but I figured I gotta get this video out to you guys. I know it's been a while since my most recent one. Let's get into it. So this Maylon Clover Cube, I saw in Speed Cube Shop one day, and I thought it was cool. So on Instagram, you can do the price times 200, and so it was 1,200 likes since this was 595 and I reached the goal, so they sent this to me for free. And you can try this out yourself, but if you don't want to, you can buy it for $5.95 or even cheaper if you use discount code COLIN, C-O-L-I-N, 1L. But let's just get into the unboxing. So I think this solves just like a normal 3x3, just like this. And, um... So it appears to have a bit of lube right now on the outside, but let's just try an algorithm. Okay. So, yes, it definitely is like a normal 3x3. Like, th these are the edges, these are the corners and stuff. But like, so let me kind of explain this to you. So if you're doing this move, your thumb will get caught here, your ring finger will get caught here, and it just kind of hurts your hand. So that kind of goes for every move. But I think this is pretty cool. I'm actually pretty impressed by this out of the box. Because obviously this is very different from any of the puzzles in the WCA. And I think the hardware is actually pretty decent. And this is not even after breaking. So I think I'm going to break this in a little and then I'll be back. So I'm back and I've broken it in. So some of the things I didn't notice at first is obviously there are no centers which makes the cross building actually a little bit different because you have to actually align these. So like these two can't be like this since the red has to be opposite of the orange like this and blue has to be opposite of green. And the way that I would generally do this is how I do it for four by four. You kind of think blue, orange, green, red, B-O-G-R. So blue, orange, green needs to go here and red's here. So we can put green in now. So now we have the cross correctly, and then I just kind of do the corners from here. So F2L is kind of weird. Um, it's just kind of hard to recognize your cases and stuff, but I think it's kind of a cool difference. So I'm just going to go through F2L. And if you saw that finger trick, the push, it scrapes your finger here and it actually hurts quite bad, but it's okay. So last F2L pair. I'm just going to do worse finger tricks so that I don't hurt my finger. And um, this case would be the easy P case. So yeah, another thing I noticed is when you're doing wide moves, you can't hold it normally. You have to literally hold the complete bottom to be able to do it. And then here. So I actually haven't tried out any M move algorithms. Now, okay, so I have parity. I believe. So at the moment, I haven't really figured out what you do for parity, so I've just gotten to the point where I just scramble it and um, try to solve it again. So here I just have an EPERM, and it's solved. So some of the parity cases you can get is where you just have like these two edges flipped, these two flipped, or just like a weird EPERM, or any PLL you don't recognize. So I've been trying to figure it out, but the thing is, since like for 4x4, four four, you have two layers in here, but for this, you still only have one. So you're unable to do like PLL parity on 4x4, because if you do PLL parity on 4x4, it would look like this, I guess. And then that, and it messes with like this. So that's obviously not going to work. And I'm still not 100% sure. So one of the things I know has to do with it is the fact that there aren't any set centers so um i feel like some edges could be like swapped or something i'm not 100 percent sure um i know that it goes blue orange green red like i said with yellow or with white on the left but i'm still not 100 percent sure what the issue is so i actually did figure out what to do for parity so any parity case what you can do i learned this from j perm's void cube he kind of showed what he does for parity so just do like an M prime move and then insert your cross pieces like this then do this one in the back like this. That'll give you an OLL which you can complete. 
and then a PLL that you will recognize. And your cube is now solved. So, um, that's all I've got for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time on Cube with Colin.